Greetings Earthlings, so about a year ago I made a video about Ubuntu Mate 1604 and its accessibility features. Now that video got like 750 views out of the making of this video, so evidently people want this kind of thing. Now, there's been a big change in Ubuntu 1710, Ubuntu proper 1710, where the Unity desktop, which was also accessible, has been replaced with the GNOME 3 desktop, which is also accessible, but we are going to go over the accessibility features, as a lot of them have changed, especially when you compare them to Marty or Unity in the way that you use them. So, as you can see, we are currently on the GDM login screen. I'm running this in a virtual machine on my Mac Mini, and as you can hear, hopefully, I'm going to turn up my speaker so you can hopefully hear this. Not this, this. We have a screen reader. Now I'm going to click on my name and I'm going to type in my password and we are going to log into the desktop. Now that screen reader normally doesn't show up, it normally doesn't start when GDM starts, which is the login manager. I'll show you today how to make that happen. But you can see we are now loading into the main GNOME desktop and here we are. Now then, avid GNOME users may notice this icon, not this one, this one, right here that normally isn't here, and it's accessibility options. Indeed, there is a menu of accessibility options that is available in the settings, so if you come over here to this top right hand menu, there is a keyboard command to get to this top bar in these menus, I can't remember what it is, but if you can't see, take your mouse, Move it all the way up to the top right hand corner and click and you'll get this menu. Now then, you can go to, if we come down, go to the left of the lock button, you'll get the settings button. Now this is obviously the system settings. And once it loads, you can see that this settings panel is a bit different to the settings panel, the old settings panel. We have things down the side now, which is actually a feature of the latest desktop of GNOME. But if you scroll down, you want to go to this universal access, which it says make it easier to see here, point type, blah, blah, blah. You press enter on it. Now you can't just tab over because it, for some strange reason it'll just go down the list. But if you press the right arrow, you'll get some stuff. Now then, if you go shift tab up one, you'll see this box that says always show universal access menu in top bar. Now I have that ticked, which gives me this little menu up in the top right hand corner, right here, that allows you to enable and disable things. But you don't necessarily need this, it's just a thing. So, we're going to go over all these things. High contrast. I'm pretty sure everybody knows what this is, but it makes everything easier to see. Now, this is another strange thing with the GNOME desktop. If you ever have issues actually activating things, so you'll notice here that this is a toggle button and it's pressed and it says it's called high contrast, but if I try to activate it by pressing the spacebar, nothing actually happens. Now, this is a, I don't know if it's a bug or if it's a feature or if nobody knows about it yet, but all these toggle buttons and stuff seem to show up twice to the screen reader. So if you press tab, you'll get another one. And if you try and toggle this one, it will actually work. Now we will activate that again because I want high contrast enabled. This virtual machine is a bit slow. I think it's done it. We now have large text, which I'm also going to activate, which makes everything larger, obviously. We can come down here. I'm going to change the cursor size, because you can. Cursor size. Let's click this. Let's see if it lets me change it, because it might not. So, doesn't look like this is accessible. That's great. But if you choose the last one, I don't know. I'd assume that is the biggest. Anyway, that's a thing. Yep, it's largest now. Um, but then we then have zoom. Now, if I turn this on, I've pressed return on it. Let's see what it does. We'll see here. So you get different options. I'm not actually going to enable this, but this is how you get to the zoom options. And there's quite a few different options there. 
on. The screen reader is already on. Now, if you want GDM to automatically have a screen reader on it, and if you want your GNOME desktop to have a screen reader that automatically starts, you can come in here and you can enable this. Now, obviously, to get it started in the first place, to be able to get to this setting, if you can't see what you're doing, I would advise you, you press Alt F2, which brings up the run box, and then you can type in ORCA for Orca, which is the name of the screen reader. Press Enter, and that should turn it on for you. We then have sound keys. I'm not actually sure what this is. We'll see. Uh, when it loads here. So you can set it so that when you press an unlock or caps lock, it makes a noise. I'm going to turn that on. To see what happens. If it'll let me. There we go. And it looks like nothing's happened yet, but I would assume something will. And that's pretty much it as concerns the accessibility features inside of this settings application for seeing, at least. Now, if we get out of here, we can press Alt F4 to do that. I'm going to show you around the GNOME desktop. Now, if you press the Windows key, it will bring you into this activities view. In VirtualBox, that's not going to work if you're on a Mac because it, it's the host key. But what you can do is you can press Alt F1, and you can do this on any system. And it will also bring you to the activities view. Now, here is where you can search for things. So if I wanted to open Tweaks, which is the next thing we're going to open, which doesn't come by default, you have to install it. But you can see if I spell it right... that it shows up right there and you can open it by pressing enter I'm not going to do that right now though if you press escape once it just clears your search and if you press it again you'll get out of activities view now then if you want to get to all your applications you can press the windows key in A well when you're not in virtual box you can press the windows key in A and it will bring you to the applications view now there is a button on the dock for the applications view there is also a button in activities which you can also get to by the way by moving your mouse to the very top left and clicking and you'll get to activities view, I think. Yes, we will. There is a button on the side here for all apps. Uh, I'm going to try and click it. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to because I can't see my mouse at the moment. Oh, there it is. No, that's not it. But basically, that gets you to all your apps and you can scroll through them and filter them in different categories and stuff like that. A quicker way to really open all your apps is to just hit the super key, type what you want, and press enter, or press alt F2. <laughs> And you can type in a command to run, such as gnome tweak tool, and we'll open this. Now then, the gnome tweak tool doesn't come by default in Ubuntu 17.04. However, you can install it, and I would advise you to do so, because you can then go to appearance. And if it's the same deal with this in the settings pane, where you can't just tab over, because it'll just switch you in the menu. But if you press the right arrow... You'll see here. We have a global dark theme. Now, this is actually enabled, so I'm not sure why this didn't work. But some applications will react to this, and you can have a global dark theme. There is also animations. If you don't need animations, you might just want to turn this completely off and speed everything up. I'm going to leave it on for no particular reason, but yeah. Then we get onto themes. Now, if you come here to applications, I've set this to high contrast. You can set it to either high contrast, ambience, radiance, or you can obviously install other themes. So, I think I can install the GNOME accessibility themes and they'll show up here. Let me just test that out real quick and I'll be right back. So I've just checked and apparently the GNOME accessibility themes are installed out of the box. So it doesn't look like we're going to be able to get any more than high contrast. Although you could install Compiz, which I'm going to try later, in which case you could enable the negative plugin and it would work fine. But for right now, at least, it's not really possible. In I'm sure it is. We just haven't found out how yet. And there is definitely a theme you can download from Gnome Look or something like that that will allow you to have high contrast. And this dark mode, when it actually works, should be good as well. I should mention to do with this desktop... There is no way to access the dock accessibility wise. In Unity, if you press Alt F1, you would actually get to the dock rather than the dashboard. 
the dash even. And it would work like that, and then you could press the super key to get to the dash, or you could click on the dash from the launcher. But in GNOME, at least, there is not a way to do that. Obviously, the tweaks that I showed in the last video to do with Firefox should work in this as well, in terms of doing the theming. But without Compiz installed, that's probably not going to work. So, what I'm going to do is install Compiz and see how that works out. And if it works out really well, I'll let you know. So, I tried installing Compiz, and I'm surprised VirtualBox didn't crash, because it dumped me back to a TTY. I'm not sure if I can actually access any of the TTYs. Oh, but it looks like... Ah, well that's interesting, it just put me back to the login screen. What happens if I... How do you get to the session information? I have no idea. But it doesn't look like it's going to let me in. So we're going to log back in, if I can spell my password right. So what I did was I tried installing Compiz, Compiz plugins, and the CCSM, Compiz Config Settings Manager, and it looks like I've just balked my installation. I should have taken a snapshot. Oh well. Um, so that's what happens if you try and... All I did was I did that, then I enabled some plugins, the accessibility plugins, and then I typed uh, Compiz dash dash replace, and it totally messed it up. So it turns out without further inspection which i'm sh i'm sure it's possible but you can't run compiz stock at least inside ubuntu 17.10 which is a real bummer because that means you can't get the negative plugin and you can't get the enhanced zoom desktop functionality which works really well but i guess that's that so there's been a bit of a development what i did is i reset the virtual machine which you can see it's doing again right now and it booted straight back into the GNOME desktop and it worked absolutely fine. However, when I tried to turn on Compiz, Wayland basically crashed. I think that's the problem. I have a feeling Compiz doesn't like Wayland and it's totally feasible. So, we're going to boot back up and I'll show you. This is the Ubuntu screen. And when it loads, speed cut, you will see that if we log in... It will dump us back to the console. I don't actually know why this happens, but usually after here, hopefully it's going to work again. Normally after this point, yep, we will get our GNOME desktop back. Now, another thing you could do to make this accessible, I don't know why this error keeps coming up, by the way. Another thing you could do to make this accessible is right click and go to change desktop background. Which I would encourage you to do if you want to set to black or whatever for high contrast. The only thing is, if you come in here and you go you go background and then you want to change it to a solid colour. So you go colours and you get a bunch of colours except if you listen, if you listen. They're just called icon. You can't actually tell which ones are which. And there's normally a button that lets you choose a custom colour, but there isn't here. So the only way to get a solid black colour, or whatever you want, ideally, is to just open Firefox, Google search black image, click on images, and download one and have it tiled or whatever. But... That's not really ideal, so GNOME developers and whoever's out there, I want you to either implement a button where you can choose your own custom colour using a colour dialogue, because then I can just go in there and set the hex value to 000, or the red, green, blue to 000, or something like that. Or, tell me at least what those colours are, and let me have a good selection of them, so I actually have a choice of black, for example. Another gripe I have with the GNOME desktop is, say I want to close this window, there's two ways I can press Alt F4, or the other way is to press Alt Space to get the window menu, which this appears in Windows and pretty much any version of Linux. Now, in Marty, I can press the up arrow and it will wrap to the bottom of the menu where the close option is. Not so in GNOME, I have to scroll all the way down. And then you can see if I press the down arrow key a bunch of times, 
it ain't going anywhere. It it doesn't wrap. It just stays where it is. Likewise, I can go all the way back up, and it won't go any further. Now that's really annoying. I really wish they would make that menu and other menus because this happens in other menus as well. I wish they would make them wrappable because, as it stands right now. It's really annoying to have to scroll all the way down the menu to get to something at the bottom when you could just press the up arrow a couple times and get it that way. So that's going to do it for this video. If you did enjoy it, a like is most appreciated. It really helps out a lot. You can also dislike this video if you found out that it wasn't helpful. I, okay, just whatever. I am. Um, you can subscribe to this channel if you're new around here and want to see more accessibility content like this. I've got two other videos. One's on macOS, which is this thing right here. And one is on Ubuntu Mate 16.04. I'll have another video out about Ubuntu Mate 17.10 in the near future. But as always, thank you for watching. Peace.